It has got a face only its mother could love. My first one of the day. Standby. Right, and before we get the rods out, remember to subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the Instagram at the Fishing Bloggers and follow the Facebook page, the Fishing Bloggers TV. Right then, so we are back out in the bank. Uh, we're currently out via ducks. We had a last-minute decision to get out for the day, so uh, yeah, we have arrived. The barrows are loaded. Yeah, we're going to jump on carry and um, give that a go to start with. Hopefully we can get a few fish, so um, I think without mucking around too much, let's get right now and see if we can get a few. Let's get going. <laughs> that was so close! <laughs> you need a brolly up your ass there. <laughs> my back hurts. <laughs> my back does hurt, to be fair. You might have to push my barrow in a minute. First one of the day. What the hell? <laughs> My first one of the day, solid bag, S7 wafter. He's really lively. It took about five minutes, I reckon. But um, anyway, let's get her back. <laughs> Right, update time. So, rods are out. Um, we've been fishing probably 45 minutes, maybe an hour. I've um, had a fish within probably five, 10 minutes of rod being out. Um, probably a low to mid double. And um, just trickled a little bit of bait in, but one of Hugh's rods has just gone off. And uh, he's playing one out. So, um, looks like it's gonna be one apiece so far. Hopefully it's a sign of uh, a few to come. But um, yeah, it's looking good at the moment. There's no one else here, so looks like we might have the lake to ourselves for the day, which is wicked. Well, the complex, I should say, not just the lake. But um, anyway, let's um, have a look at this fish. We've both got the old six foot sawn off today. Perfect for these little waters. Good bit of fun as well. They're great little rods for playing. Definitely adds a little bit more um, excitement into the air. Uh, fight, that's for sure. Job done. That'll do. Do this. I don't know, man. We have some. Well, these fish are lively. Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs> Not nearly. Right then, let's. Uh... <laughs> right then, I've pretty much just had a double take. <laughs> it's a little common that Sean's trying to hold up, uh, rattled off first, and then as I was just getting the rod back out, the other rod with this lovely little uh, mirror has just gone rattling off. Just like Sean's there. Uh, Ridiculously lively, so um, I think we will probably get, them gonna back, get them back. In, yeah. yeah, before something else happens. <laughs> What an absolute monster. 
specimen that is. So clearly they've had it all, isn't it? Right. Well then, so we thought we'd just give you... That sounds like a bite. Well then, so we thought... Why is it still going? Yeah. I was thinking, why is your alarm still going? You put the rod up. They're all going. They're all spawning, so they keep uh, right, yeah. spinning, they still move on. That was right that was down further into that corner. Oh, there you go. Where's that one? might leap or bang I think the majority of the fish are over on that bit, isn't it? I know yellow pop up. Yeah. <laughs> well, you said about the corn things, so I thought actually. That's a gift, isn't it? Huh? That's a gift. What a gift. <laughs> it's all because you said about um, the corn. Oh. Yeah. I thought, you know, put a unibet. Yeah, mate, as I've always said, if you listened a bit more. Oh, it's become a really good angler. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, like the fellow just caught one because he was up on about corn? So. Oh, yeah, and the bad one, if they dropped that. Yeah, every day. So, yeah. Well, listen. Mm -hmm. okay. That's this, a good angle. This coaching lesson for free, right? That's good angling in itself, innit? Pretty certainly next time I'll have to start charging for it. Yeah, what's good angling? Having another rig ready to go. Right, so this morning we dropped into pegs 99 and 100 off a little bit of advice that they fished quite well yesterday. We've obviously had a few fish to start off with, um, but we were just trying to give you an update when we were rudely interrupted by Sean's rods ripping off. And uh, to be fair, that one's come from slightly further down the lake to the right. So um, I think it might be time to up sticks and uh, try and locate them, really. Yeah, I think we get the um, fish I've got in the net. It looks like a reasonable common. I think we get her out, have a look at her, get some uh, footage and that, and then. Um, Maybe have a look at moving, but um, I think we need to make something happen because it's been a bit, a bit quieter than we were expecting. So yeah, it's gone quiet for the last hour or so, isn't it? For that, so definitely has. So um, anyway, let's get right, have a look, and um, go from there. Why I'm sad on this man. <laughs> right, here's the uh, rude common that interrupted us. It's not the uh, best looking fish in the world, to be honest. It's um, got a pretty gammy mouth, but. Uh, Put up a nice account for itself, had a lovely little scrap on the uh, an old six foot rod, so um, she's behaving actually at the moment as well, which is nice. But um, yeah, like we said, we're going to probably have a little move, see if we can uh, track down a few more fish. So I feel like we should be getting more bites than we are, so um, let's slip her back and make some apple. <gasps> it has got a face only its mother could love. Wow. Well, <laughs> oh, that's a nice wash. Starting when you get a bite, and it turns out to be a green. Chin up, son. <laughs> All right, Sean. Oh, magic. Green slime, he's wiping up his hands then. At least it's not raining. Mwah. Well, it's fair to say, I'm absolutely praying I don't get a run right now. Very rare I say that. 
thunder and lightning's just started. Well, at least the thunder. Sean's just had a bream. It's tickled me immensely. Yeah, I am praying I don't get a bite right now. Recast a rod to a nice little quiet bay um, after moving down this other end and finally it's gone off. S7 wafter tip with a, um, I think it was a little fruit delicious, half a pop up. Rain's coming down again so I'm going to get her back but uh, nice to get another bite. <laughs> Just got that. Oh, it's bumped off. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Well, it's had a ripping tape, man, and I've dropped it off. Right then, just want to tell you a little bit about rigs. Um, I just got rudely interrupted um, by a fish and um, it's just sat in the net, but I'm quickly going to tell you this before it gets to the point where I end up forgetting to do it. Um, so I started on solid bags. Um, I was using quite a subtle setup, ounce and a half lead, um, size 10 hooks, little sort of half up wafter. That had a couple of bites, um, but then after we moved, we ended up having a lot of rain and um, there's quite a downpour and also had quite a few bream. Um, I suppose the smaller hook baits, you know, the fish, uh, the bream were able to pick them up, so it's causing a bit of an issue. Due to that, I decided to um, change tactics slightly. I went with a bigger lead, bigger hook, and also a bigger bait. That way, it's going to be a lot harder for the bream to get um, get hold of. So I was just using a three and a half inch inline, um, sort of a longer hook length, sort of 10, 12 inch hook length, and then um, a sort of bigger hook with a um, 60 mil uh, straight bottom bait with a, a little half a pop up as a sort of sight sight marker, basically. Um, I've had about, I think I've had three bites on the on the sort of stepped up um, setup and two on the solid bags. Um, I don't think it really made too much difference, really sort of bite ratio, just the fish aren't having that much today but um anyway that's sort of the tactics i've used to try and sort of get around a few things that have happened um hugh's been using it for some slightly different to me um he's had a couple of fish so he's probably going to tell you about that in a second we not long move swings cast a couple of baits out sort of three quarters of the way across and off it's gone this one was on a single at bait s7 uh, bottom bait with a i think it's half a fruit delicious pop-up or something like that i think but um yeah, four fish. It's been a bit slow, but um, hopefully Hume can get another one as well before we shoot off. But uh, we'll slip her back and um, see if we can get another one. <laughs> well, I've quickly talked you through the rig I've been using. There's quite a bit of charred and sort of dead leaf out on the bottom, so I've decided to use one of the Ronnie rigs. So I'm obviously I've got plenty of confidence in. Stand by, we're into a bite. Yeah. <laughs> what are you up to? Oh, 
Right then, I've chosen to use the Ronnie rig today, mainly for the reason that there's quite a bit of chod out on the bottom, um, dead leaf, things like that. So I want to stay well away from all of that. And so, yeah, the Ronnie rig obviously gives you that little bit of clearance. And there's, a, there's also a rig I've got a huge amount of confidence in using it a lot at the Syndicate. So, on top of the Ronnie rig, I'll be mounting one of the uh, 12 mil PBE pop-ups. Um, I love all the range, but I must admit this is one of my favourites, along with the S7s. Um, it, they're nice, bright, grip off, great attraction. And yeah, on a lake which I think sees quite a lot of sweet corn, obviously yellow is quite a obvious choice. Now I've been attaching to those um, some of the little PVA bags, just full of some of the mini uh, Cremix pellets, which are absolutely pungent. And uh, yeah, that's been doing the business. So just had another one, and uh, we'll get out and have a look, I think. Right then, so I've just had this lovely little uh, scaly mirror. It's all gone a bit hectic, to be honest. Um, I already had one in the net, this one's gone rattling off. Sean's got one in the net, so I think the plan is we'll slit this one back and try and get the other two out. PB Wafter. PB Viaduct Spin. Look at Hell yeah! In the net. That's your right hand one, mate. That's off. Oh. Yeah, it is as well. Mate, you ain't got net. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know the net yet? Huh? Are we going to do this then? Right then, so, uh, got a little bit of a hectic action to sort of end the day. Um, light is starting to go now. we just had these two. Um, my Hughes had a brace. I had two bikes, one of them dropped off. But um, they're slightly better stamped than the ones we had earlier, so. That's why. And the Hughes rod's going. Another double take. Like we just said, it's gone absolutely hectic. Fishing is absolutely unbelievable this evening. Got, we've got to pack up really, but uh, once again on a PB wafter. Loving it. Alright, chaps. Hello, mate, alright? So you're having a good time of it? <laughs> it went a bit hectic at the end, yeah. <laughs> Had a bit of a long old day, and then, yeah, the last 20 minutes or half an hour, it's just been nice. Nothing special, but it's all winter fun, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm glad it's no fishing again. Yeah. Right, probably the biggest one of the day for me then. Um, probably mid double common. Another, again, I'm my right of a rod's going off. Um, again, another seriously lively common. Oh, probably the biggest one of the day for me, then mid double common. Um, my other rod's just going off, he's just going to pick it up. Um, it's been absolute carnage this evening. Um, we had a really, really slow day, and picking up a few fish. And um, we just had, I think, three double takes. Um, but yeah, this one's definitely the best one of the day for me. So nice to finish on a solid better stamp of fish, but um, it's been good fun. Let's get her back and probably gonna have to get going. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't that bad, I didn't think. It was terrible. No, I knew it. Right, well, sorry the uh, vlog seems to have come to a bit of an abrupt end, really. Um, it went absolutely hectic. We must have had at least two or three double takes. We were running yeah. landing nets to each other, unhooking fish and releasing them. It was a good day in the yeah. end. I think by 9am we'd had four fish. And then we had a couple, or you had a couple, didn't you? But yeah, hectic ending, so yeah, the, the filming had to come second after the fish care, really, so. Well, we didn't really have time to film, did we? It's literally, in such a short space of time, the light was fading, and suddenly the rods just went crazy, like like they do, because that's normally the bite time in mace wars, and we just couldn't keep a rod in the war. And the problem was, I think we were kind of using our third rod as like a spare, so as soon as we had a bite, we kind of flipped the other one out, so we are always fishing two rods, and so we were just getting double takes, and it was just, just chaos, wasn't it, really? Yeah, so. it was. We didn't really have time um, to eat in the end, so. Yeah. Hence the McDonald's now, so yeah. yeah. But no, it was, um, it was a good session, I think, and to be fair, we did say, um, or I did say in the previous 
video that we were going to try and do the giveaway when we were next out but this was so late notice we literally decided yesterday and realized we both could get out um, so we didn't have anything planned um, so we didn't really get a chance to do that and to be fair we didn't have a lot of time to film it anyway um, the weather was really wet in the day we couldn't really do a lot of filming in the main part of the day and then the morning and the evening and we're, we're pretty busy with fish so um, I think the next time we go out for probably like a proper 24 hours like at night or something like that when we've got time to mess around I think we do it then won't we? Yeah, yeah. So uh, make sure you stay subscribed or subscribe if you haven't to uh, still be in a chance for that competition really. But Yeah, yeah definitely. Subscribe to the channel if you want to win. Um, also check out the Instagram at the Fishing Bloggers and the Facebook page the Fishing Bloggers TV. Um, other than that, uh, that's about it isn't it? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Be lucky.